this season has been very uh, magical. It's been special. Um, I was talking earlier, and I was and I've been here five seasons. And when I got here, my first year, we was playing for the bottom four. So it's from to go to the bottom four to the top four uh, says a lot, and it, and it means a lot to me. Uh, this team and the team members were great. Uh, the coaching staff was great. Uh, the training staff was great. And that's what made the, the results great. I think it was the egos on our team. They are easygoing guys uh, who can handle being coached. Uh, they don't have egos. Uh, I feel like uh, CJ was important. He had a good season this season. And I, I feel like it was really, honestly, it was probably the growth of Yuki. Uh, Yuki took uh, a really big step as a player uh, to be at the level he was at. He was playing at an elite level. Uh, you know, I, 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 I've been with Yuki for, this is my third season with Yuki. And when I when Yuki came in the game, he wasn't known as a as a as a shooter. It's more known as a passer and a defender. So for him to have that 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 next level uh, shows uh, his work ethic and it shows his confidence. Uh, my minutes was really limited this season, uh, so. I wanted to just do what they needed me to do and for for them, for us, for the team, I think just rebounding and uh, and defending was my role. So I just tried to implement that in the, the game. Uh, and most importantly, I just tried to be vocal on what I've seen in the game to help uh, guys like CJ, Pat, and Dev. So more like a mentor. I think at the beginning of the season, we was like, like in the, you know, we wasn't really uh, dominating like that. Uh, I think when we went to Utsunomiya and Yuki, going crazy. Uh, he had a game winner and he won the, we won those two games back. But I think that was the, I think that's, that game was most memorable, but I think that game is what uh, changed our season. I, th I had two memorable plays. I think the play against uh, Guma, I, I want to say it's Guma, I'm not sure. But I had made a steal in the in the half court, and I like dove for the ball, and I ended up getting hurt. <laughs> that's how I knew I was getting. That's how I knew I was old, you know. And then um, against Tayama, it's the last game of the season. Um, people don't know, but before the game, before the game, I had fluid in my knee, and I got the fluid drained down my knee. And the whole season, I didn't make any dunks, and all everybody was telling me that I need a dunk. So I had a chance to get a dunk, but. Uh, my knee was just not a uh, good condition, so I just laid it up, and, and that was my last chance to dunk. And I was, I remember that, like because the one good chance I had to dunk, I couldn't because of the the situation with my knee. But those two was the most memorable uh, plays. The reason is just the, the the brotherhood we have on this team. I'm pretty close with everybody on the team. Uh, and sometimes, you know, going into a game, you you might have like a little bit of self-doubt. Uh, and sometimes as a player, you can uh, thinking too much and, and kind of like hinder your game. Uh, when I talk to the players, uh, it's just more to relax them, uh, put them in a good mood, 
because I think uh, this at the end of the day, this is a this is a game and it's to have fun. Of course, you want to take it serious, but you don't want to get too serious where you are overthinking and stuff like that. So uh, being confident and and being open and being uh, loose is a, a better approach to the game, I feel. Um, plus, it just uh, helps me, helps them where if something's going bad, they can just talk to me. So that's uh, part of the reason. Just want to build the player's confidence going into the game, make them feel like they're, they're, they're important and give them that, that confidence to go out there and perform at the best level they can. Uh, this is going to be a season I never forget. Uh, the situations that we had to go through, uh, practice-wise, I don't think nobody from the outside understands. Um, but we kept strong. Um, the personalities of the team was great. There's no bad player on this team. Um, Along with winning, we were able to have fun outside of the outside of court, hanging out together and stuff like that. Uh, you know, uh, mo some of the guys don't even speak English, but for them to go out and want to hang out, uh, the communication of happiness was uh, the the mutual thing. Uh, so, um, you know, this is I'm getting towards the end of my career, you know, and I played a lot of places and I've been on a lot of teams. Uh, this is probably going to be the most rememberable, rememberable uh, season for me, uh, just because of overcoming and uh, nobody uh, besides us probably expected us to be in the position that we were at the end of the season. So, you know, to have that impact on, on this season was uh, very special. Uh, I'm a little older, so I like to take a uh, break, take a time, uh, relax my body and have some fun. Uh, but uh, I know that in order for me to continue to play, there's things I need to work on in my body. Uh, I think losing weight, uh, a couple pounds would be uh, key, but I think also just building my, my, my lower legs, uh, making them as strong as, as I can. Um, that's it. Probably hang out with uh, some players that play in Japan. A lot of players play uh, live where I live, uh, so probably seeing them. Uh, my old teammate from last season, Leighton, he lives near me, so I'll probably hang out with him uh, and just clear my mind. Uh, the, you need to reset, reset uh, every summer, you know, going into the season is because you have a lot of ups and downs. Sometimes you have stress. Uh, most of the times you have stress. So I think that um, resetting that button is uh, key. Um, this has been a great season uh, for the fans, especially especially the, the diehard fans that's been here since day one. Uh, you know, the, it's very proud to, I'm, I'm sure they was very proud to go to uh, the away games and represent the Oklahoma team uh, to win these amount of games and to be in the position that we were in. Uh, it was probably a great feeling. You know, it felt good for the players, but I'm pretty sure it felt more good for the fans, you know, something to be proud of. Uh, and we just wanted to make the fans happy. I appreciate the fans for for the support. Um, seems like this season, uh, a lot more fans have uh, emerged, uh, especially on my Instagram. They're saying nice things to me um, and giving me motivation and confidence to to play out there and really appreciate you guys uh, doing that. You know, uh, the little things like that uh, means a lot.